goodness, there it is in the flesh. I have missed YouTube. I have missed everyone. I have been sick with COVID, so my voice is still a little funky, but this is the first day that I've had the energy and I just, I couldn't wait any longer. I just wanted to make a video. I have a lot of videos to catch up on. So we had a wonderful trip to New York City. Uh, this is a place that is very near and dear to me. I have visited many times throughout my life. My grandpa is from was from Brooklyn. My grandma is from Manhattan. My mom is from Long Island. My ex-husband has an aunt and uncle that lives in Manhattan. So we would visit them regularly. I even lived in, in New York upstate much further uh, when I was a kid, but we would go into the city, although I don't have much memory of that period in my life. So anyways, this is a special place, a city that I love very, very much. And uh, it was Brian's first time, which was just really exciting to get to share that with him. And we got to stay with our friends and it was so good to see them. And they were just the perfect hosts and they have a really nice apartment in Brooklyn. And we got to do so many wonderful things. I think for the sake of time, I'm going to break this, the New York recap into two different parts. One will be for the stationery and Yoseka stationery. And then the other will be just some of the highlights. I did film a lot and I don't know if I want to do, I don't know how I want to put that together. But I think for this video, now that I have had a very long-winded introduction, I would like to just share with you my experience at Yoseka. Oh, Yoseka Stationery. This place is pure magic. I fell in love with this shop online. And to go there in person and to see it in all its grandeur is so much more than I ever expected it to be. And my love for Yoseka Stationery has just blossomed into so much the next level, I should say. They have everything and everything you can try and experiment with. They have a table full of notebooks and pens and papers that you can write on and doodle with and experiment. They have a little Yoseka stationery stamp. They have an ink bar where you can go and grab a bottle of ink and do some swabbing and check it out and see it in the flesh before making any decisions. And of course, everybody there was so helpful and so friendly. And I even ran into two people that were also traveling and made Yoseka a destination. I wish I had gotten more time there. I could have easily spent all day. I think in a perfect world, I would work there. <laughs> it's so amazing. All right, so now that you've seen the inside of this magical space, I wish I had got more footage. I wish I had planned out better, but we really just didn't have a whole lot of time. And I think if, when we go back to New York again, I will let Daisy know ahead of time and maybe she would be up to doing a little interview or something with me for the channel. So, uh, cause I didn't get to see her and we were, we were in communication, but it just, our our schedule didn't align and like I said we were just so busy trying to cram as much as we possibly could into uh, a short stay so anyways <laughs> I got some things and I was so overwhelmed 
it was really difficult to choose what to buy and I think if I had like I said more time to just kind of sit there and digest I could have easily spent a whole day and then gone back the following day um, I think maybe my shopping would have looked a little bit different but my main goal though going into it was to get a traveler's notebook in the passport size which then I, I bought there this is the blue uh, it's a really beautiful like teal blue and um, you can really see the color here on the inside um, and then I quickly moved into it as a wallet so it's holding cards I bought this little extra um, folder insert that has a pocket in the front and then a zipper in the back and then of course I just I couldn't resist but I got one of these little um, pencil boards and this little insert notebook is a blank and I think I'll just use it for random notes and um, maybe grocery lists. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I have so many journals <laughs> starting to, to get to that overwhelming point again. And then uh, my friend and I each got one of these. He, he got it first and I was like, you know what? I want one too. <laughs> because it just is such a cool idea it's this little desk calendar that has the moon phases and it's for 2023 so as you go through the days you just rip off the sheets of paper which i thought would be really fun to potentially use these sheets to put in my journal every once in a while because they're just it's they're beautiful it's like a really thin uh vellum not vellum actually more like an onion skin paper actually i think uh so anyways calendar i feel this feels a little bit impulsive and silly i just wanted to buy a pen when i was there and there are so many pen options and one of the beautiful things about the store is you can try everything and they have a bunch of fountain pens inked up and i don't know and so i ended up buying this and i really like the weight of it and uh, the design, it's a nice chunky pen. This is the Karen, da Karen Dosh uh, Rollerball. But the Rollerball maybe is a little bit too fat of a line from my handwriting. Um, I made the mistake of trying it on in the store <laughs> on I think some Nemesign paper, which is, I, th I think it was Nemesign, um, I believe that I tried it on Nemesign and it was a coated paper, which I think in my experience with Nemesign, and this is why I think it's Nemesign, is that it always makes the lines a little bit thinner than they actually are on most other papers. And so on the journal that I'm currently writing, and it's just too fat of a line for me, but I can get refills. I also put a little sticker on it. <laughs> it says, let's go, and it's cute. Um, so yeah, I need to do that. It's just, I was really drawn to the size of the pen and I just liked the shape. It is a bit back weighted, uh, which I think will be a little bit of a getting used to. But you know, like, I just, I wanted to buy a pen and I grabbed a pencil, not that exciting, but it's another black wing. This is a black wing pearl. They have, they sell them but individually, which is nice. Uh, and I do use them. So I will use this one too. <laughs> then I bought these teeny little scissors, which I just thought were such a cute travel size. These are, this is a size that you can take on an airplane. I want to make a little leather sheath for them. Um, I just think they're really cute and small. They also fit nicely into that zipper pocket in here and because they lay fairly flat like it's not I don't think it would be too much of a pain in the butt to have them in there although that's where my change goes so I probably if I just set this up differently or was using this differently maybe I would I also <laughs> bought these little stickers some of which I've already used they are pop-up stickers which I actually I didn't realize when I bought them and I 
kind of wish I had, like I said, I was so overwhelmed. I kind of wished that I had known that because I'm not, I don't know, it's not, it's cute, but I prefer things to be lying flat in my journal. But they are really adorable and I just love all the little, little characters are so adorable. And then I bought some more stickers and I don't remember which I bought at Yoseka and which I bought at this other stationery shop called The Corner Shop in Brooklyn. Um, but these, are, I love these stickers so much. These are my favorite stickers. Uh, I guess they're made by High Tide, which is the first time I've ever known that. I've always been like, what are these stickers? How do I find them? I just love the artwork and they're a nice, simple, sticker and they stick on things really well. I actually have them stickered onto a variety of things that are not my journal, like the pen. Uh, I also have them on like my traveling battery pack and like a little reusable lighter. <laughs> and just, yeah, I've put them on a lot of things. I think this one's my favorite. I just like all the characters. If anyone knows, what these folks are saying. I only know this one is let's go, but I haven't looked up the rest of them yet. Anyways, it's super cute. So I got the stickers. Then that's it from Yoseka, which feels not like a whole lot. Um, like I said, I was just so overwhelmed and that I could have bought everything. <laughs> to be honest, I would have bought the whole store if I could. Um, anyways, I, I was very tempted to buy a fountain pen and some ink, but I enjoyed testing out the ink there and testing out fountain pens. And now I have like an idea of maybe what inks that I would want to get in the future and so on and so forth. So like I said, there was another stationery shop that I went to called The Corner Shop in Brooklyn. And there I got this adorable little pig. It's so cute, a little pig washi. So cute, <laughs> just, just little pigs, so cute. Oh, the neighbor's dogs are barking as they always do. And then I got this tiny little Penco pen. This is just a ballpoint pen, uh, it's, so cute. It's a really nice travel size and it has a very satisfying click on both ends. Um, and the reason why I wanted this one is because I thought it would just be the perfect little travel buddy with this teeny tiny notebook. This is, did I say this was a passport? I can't remember. I'm starting to fade. I'm, I'm my energy I'm feeling is getting sucked away. And then the last thing I got, let's wrap this video up, <laughs> is this Stalogy multi-pen. This one is so cool because it has red, black, and blue ink and pencil lead. What? That's so awesome. So I couldn't resist. That's what it looks like. This clip here is what actually provides you with the pencil lead. And then these ones here are for the pens. Anyways, it's cool. I like the idea of this and I, I like the look of it too. So that is all folks. Thank you so much for watching and all of your patience. And I really appreciate, I appreciate all the well wishes and for you all sticking around in my prolonged absence. I'll see y'all later. Bye.